This is, this is why I don't buy houses. Hey, Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So on my blog, I share how I made my fortune, build my empire of real estate. Starting at 19 years old, I was a millionaire by 28, and that was a long time ago. So I have a book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. It's a bestseller on Kindle and Amazon. And basically, I take you through how I made my first million dollars in real estate, uh, all real deals. There's a ton of information in here, uh, and it's exactly what you need to get started yourself. Uh, this book, as a bestseller on Kindle and Amazon. Uh, as well, you can get it for 10 bucks on Kindle and you can get it for 20 bucks on uh, the paperback. Most people buy both, but anyways. Today we're gonna talk about Grant Cardone. So Grant Cardone did a video called, Should I Buy Houses? This is something he just put out. Uh, it looks like it's just an excerpt possibly from something he'd done before, but let's, let's see what, what he's got to say. So when I buy 15, when I take $15 million, okay, I buy $60 million worth of real estate. 15 million buys $60 million worth of real estate, okay? Well, and we, we, we I'm, not buying, I'm not buying $60 million deals, so I'm buying, I'm buying, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a billion dollars worth of real estate this year. Okay, can y'all look at that number? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do this year. So I'm gonna take $300 million this year and I'm gonna buy $1.2 billion worth of real estate. To me, it's a good deal. I can become a billionaire. I can own a billion, control a billion dollars worth of assets for 300 million. All I gotta do is figure out how to get $300 million. God damn, this is like God, this, this is all the math I needed. I could have learned this in a fifth grade. Don't need any, any, I don't need any algebra, no trigonometry, calculus, don't need any of it. This, multiplication, leverage, $300 million worth of cash buys $1.2 billion worth of real estate in America, okay? That $300 million is gonna pay me $18 million a year in cash flow. I'm going to get paid $1.5 million every month to control $1.2 billion worth of real estate, okay? This is cash flow. Cash flow is what? It's freedom, baby. It's freedom. It's flow. It's current. It's a current. Currency, the word currency comes from current. If you look it up in the dictionary. Current. It has to move, okay? See, this right here, the $1.2 billion is not moving. That's good, too, though. That's good, too, because you want something that's this illiquid. Okay, so uh, he just said he made 18 million, he's got eight, he gets his cash flow of 18 million dollars a year on 300 million. That's 6% of 300 million, okay? Uh, that doesn't even make sense to me. Already it sounds like a bad investment, I'll tell you why. He should be getting 6% on 1.2 billion. He said that 300 million allows him to buy a 1.2 billion dollar uh, investment and he's going to get 6% on the 300 million. Well, that means he's getting 1.5% on the overall asset, uh, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's terrible. That's terrible. I mean, that wouldn't even pay back the loan if that was the case. But I guess maybe he's talking about a net, I don't know. But either way, it's terrible because you can get 6% on, on any, on just about on any asset, any commercial property you buy. You could just go pay $300 million cash, okay, for an asset, and you would get $18 million a year back get, if you got 6%. I get way better than that. So I would do way better than that. So I, this already kind of smells, but you know, he started off with this 60, 60, uh, million and 15 million and then he had a second thought and then he scratched that and then now here we are. But uh, uh, let's, let's keep watching. That will grow, right? This is the flow. The flow allows me to keep the asset until it appreciates, okay? So I take $300 million cash, shit. It's worth the last 10 years from now. How many believe this 300 million is worth less than 10 years? Yeah, you know what, this is, this is what, I can tell you right now, my experience with people that say cash is shit, he said cash, shit, you know, it's always been either crooks or dummies, okay, that's it. 
because cash is not shit. Cash is power. Cash is how is your tool. Cash is your seed money. Cash is how I built my fortune. And I didn't build it making 6% on my money, okay? That's a joke. But I think I know where he's going. I think it seems like he's talking about, well, we know where he's gonna get the $300 million cash. He's gonna get it from investors, right? And I can tell you, Grant seems to focus on very unsophisticated investors. And even though I'm looking at this and I'm making these determinations that I can, I know that most people don't. They just look at it and go, oh, and maybe they scratch their head. And they think, well, they must know what he's doing. He's on YouTube, whatever. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. 6%, just make it simple. He's talking about 6% on 300 million. That's 18 million, okay? That's uh, uh, 150, what would it be, 150,000 a month? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be, uh, actually be 15, yeah, it'd be 150,000 a month, I guess, on, on, on 18 million. Well, his, his cash flow is 18 million on, he's saying that he's got a cash flow of 18 million. It should be, it should be 72 million. So let me put it this way. If he was getting 6% on, on 1.2 billion, that would be 72 million, okay? Cash flow, okay, there's your cash flow. 72 million, that's what you should be getting on 1.2 billion, that's at 6%. He's talking about getting 18 million on 300 million and buying this. So if that's, you understand, I don't know if you follow me, but 18 million, you can get 18 million on 300 million invested all by itself. I mean, that's not even a great deal, okay? Typically, I can tell you, like when I buy a building, and I've had many, but like when I buy a building, say for $2 million, I'm gonna buy it under market. I'm gonna buy it probably 30, 33% under market. So what happens is when I'm buying that building for 2 million, it's worth 3 million. So the day I purchase it, I've already got much more equity than, and I put 25% down, I'll put 25% down to buy something for $2 million, but it's worth 3 million. So in the end, I've got about 38% equity, okay? But that's because I buy it right. He's talking about just doing a regular retail purchase, a regular retail purchase, not a special deal at all. And so for an investor to go into that, I mean, that is financial suicide. I would never touch that. I, I mean, you can get, like I said, you can get 6% on 300 million. To get 18 million on 1.2 billion, it just, I mean, wait, so you can call yourself a billionaire? You're not a billionaire. You're, you're, you've just got a billion dollars in debt, and you've, you've got an asset that, uh, you know, is not really cash flowing very well at all in this scenario. And so anyway, this business of calling cash shit is really disingenuous because I think that's what he wants. He wants your cash. We've seen the other videos. Let's keep going. You don't need another math class. It's, it's to, you know, it's going down the value. I take the cash, the trash, and I buy concrete, steel, and glass. Where people live, no office buildings, no WeWorks. People pitching me WeWorks when it was out. I'm like, dude, I'll never touch WeWorks. Nobody needs that much office space. Okay, we don't buy any retail, nothing. No Macy's, no Bloomingdale's, maybe one day, but not today. These people have to have a place to live. When we buy this asset, it is cash flowing. We know it's gonna make us 6%. In, in the first year, five to seven percent, somewhere in that range, we should be paid on that deal. Okay, so so this is really important. This cash flow right here, this cash flow is what will get you through a contraction. You have to have. Uh, I'll tell you what. I think he needs a math class. This is a terrible investment because he just re just said it again. He's going to get five to six percent on the three hundred million that he's invested to create a nine hundred million dollar debt. Okay. That's a nightmare. Let's keep going. To assist you through contractions that you don't have to work for. This is, this is that money that y'all talked about the other morning. Earn money when. <sighs> okay, well that was very short. And uh, obviously the only thing he said in the very beginning, I think he said you shouldn't buy a house or whatever he said at the very beginning when it was his GC was coming up. Uh, I don't know. It, there's nothing to learn from this video other than uh, he gets a very, very low return on his, on his investment. It's a very low return rate. 
Uh, so I'm going to go back and talk to you about how I invest and how, uh, and how you can invest. You, you get my book, you'll, you'll know. This is ridiculous. But if you don't, you don't. You don't know. But let's talk about this for a second. Oh. Okay. And we'll just, we'll, we'll actually do kind of a, a, a similar, a little too much, leave that up there for now. Okay, all pretty much assets that cash flow are, are, are on average worth about 6%. In other words, if you're gonna get a 6% cap rate, you're gonna get a 6% return. So if you paid cash, like in this scenario, if I paid cash for a $1.2 billion asset, or, or no matter what I paid, if I had a $1.2 billion ass, dollar asset, maybe I bought it for nine, $900 million. okay? That would be fine. But in the end, it's going to be worth it's going to be worth whatever it's worth based on about a six percent cap rate. That's kind of how it works, and I always figure a vacancy factor in there too on that stuff too. I didn't hear him talking about that even. But the bottom line is he talked about getting a six percent return on three hundred million dollars cash invested. It's, it's terrible, and I'll explain why. If I if I bought something, we'll just make this simpler. We'll just talk about this as if it's a a $1.2 million deal. So here's a $1.2 million purchase, okay? And I'm gonna put $300,000 down. Okay, 300,000 down. Okay, so now I've got a balance of 900,000. Okay, my 300,000 at a minimum, we'll just use Grant's numbers for example. So I'm gonna want a 6% return Okay, he was talking about getting a 6% return on this whole thing. I want a 6% return on the whole million too. Okay, so I would expect a cash flow. Okay, cash flow, he was talking about cash flow. I'm gonna expect a cash flow, okay, of 72,000. I mean, this is a return. This means, I'm not talking about net, I'm talking about the return. What I'm gonna get for my money is I'm gonna to wanna to get a, a, a return of 72, thousand uh, dollars a year on this 1.2 million okay now if you want to break it down into borrowed money versus uh, the money I put down the money that I have so on the three hundred thousand dollars down that I'm gonna put down my money okay if I was willing to accept six percent which I'm not but if I was I would get eighteen thousand dollars a year on my on my three hundred thousand dollars down now, on the other 900,000, I'm going to get 6% on that as, as well. And that's going to be uh, $54,000. That's per year. That's coming from the $900,000 that I borrow, okay? Now, where you make your money on this is the borrowed money, I'm probably, I'm just going to say I borrowed for 4%. Okay, so I'm going to pay 4% for this 900000 Okay, now interest, 4% interest on 900000 it's going to cost me $36,000 a year in interest that first year. Okay, so that's what it's costing me to borrow this money. Now, that's, now I'm going to make the difference now because, see, I'm making 6% on my $300,000 down, and now I'm going to make, if I'm going to borrow this other money, I'm going to make some money. I'm going to make 6% on this, less the interest I have to pay, right? Because the bank's going to get its share. So now I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make the difference of $36,000 and $54,000, and that uh, sounds like another $18,000, right? Yeah. So we got another $18,000, okay? Okay. So now I'm getting $18,000 a year, me, on my borrowed money. Okay, because I have interest I gotta pay. The bank gets this. So I'm making 18,000 on the borrowed money and I'm making $18,000 on my money that I put down. But see what Grant just described to you was getting this, was only getting this, the 18,000. And what is the pleasure of, of, of or he was talking about 18 million, 18 million, but of course he was, he was borrowing uh, 100 times more, okay. Uh, so his, his numbers don't add up. They don't make sense because 6% on 
I mean, that's a minimal investment return that I'm going to get on, on my money. If I put cash out, I'm going to get more than that, okay, more than that. But the asset will, will end up, whatever the asset is worth, like in other words, if I, even if I paid 800000 for this $1.2 million asset, in the end, that $1.2 million asset is going to produce a 6% cap rate uh, return. So anyways, you can see the numbers. You got to make money on the borrowed money. He didn't show banking any money on the borrowed money. He showed just simply getting a 6% return on the money that he, the, on the, on the, on his money that he put down. And that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so, but in my scenario, you can see here, I end up getting 12% return because I'm getting, I mean, a 12% return on my cash investment because I'm getting 18,000 on the borrowed money and I'm getting 6% on the money that's my money. So I'm getting, now I'm getting $36,000 a year on $300,000, which is a 12% return. Anyways, that's at the minimum. I mean, that's what you're going to get a return. I buy much better than that. I buy under market, but in the end, it's going to give a return on what the asset's actually worth when you, when you mark the asset to value. So look, folks, start small. Don't hand your money to anybody else. You can do it yourself. Nobody cares more than you. You know, he talked about that being a fixed asset, right? He said that one point doing, he said it's fixed, it ain't going nowhere, it's illiquid. So if you send your money to somebody else to buy that, it's not, I mean, it is more than illiquid. It is frozen until they decide they're gonna sell it. You wanna control your own stuff, you wanna control your own money. Getting a 6% return, that's easy to do. That's very easy to do. So look, get my book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate, you get it on Amazon and Kindle. Like I say, you get it on the Kindle for 10 bucks. And the best part about that is that within the Kindle book, there's, there's links. You can click a link and you can go to a video like this one. And I talk about the relevant topics to the chapters that are inside there. Look, before you go hand in 10, 20, $100,000 to, to someone like Grant, or you end up taking your money and, you know, spending five, ten thousand $10,000 on a course from some guru that, again, doesn't get into the details and show you, you know, these people get fleeced at seminars all the time. They go to seminars and, you know, they're supposedly a free seminar, but they walk out twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 short with the expectation of making a bunch of money. And it, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. You know, even Grant here, he supposedly has 3,200, 3,200 investors. I would like to see, you know, how about, you know, how about one third of 1% of them do testimonials, okay? That'd be 100 people. 100 people would be one-third of 1%. One Think he has that many satisfied customers? That's what he should do. March through 100 people. That'd be one-third of 1% one to say they're happy with their investing. That would be impressive. But I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it. So that's it. Hey, wake up and smell the real estate. It's my book. Flip anything. Hit that subscribe channel, please. And uh, you know what? We'll learn how to make money together. <laughs>